Hello everyone! Today we are talking about 7 photography hacks that are so creative that you can use these hacks to make your photos look really artistic. So let's get started! First, create a hole with your hand, place it on the lens and shoot right through it. The warp created by your hand on the edges of the photo is really going to bring out your photo. Also, the light casting on your hand will produce a really cool lighting effect to make your photo look really artistic. You can do this indoors or outdoors in any kind of lighting condition. See, having a hand is really handy. Sorry, Jamie Lannister. Next, shoot through a metal object like a bracelet or a wedding ring. It gives you a beautiful effect like you're time traveling through a wormhole. Next, shoot through a lens. I'm going to give credits of this idea to Peter McKinnon. Links in the description below. When shooting through the lens, set your lens to manual focus and also zoom out as much as your lens allows and then set the focus of your lens. Not only do you have to focus with the lens on your camera, you also have to focus the lens in your hand. Otherwise, the picture inside the lens is going to be blurry. Shooting through the lens gives you that creative look. It also makes the center of the photo inside the lens upside down, which you can correct in post. And look at the results. It's creative and it's unique. Next, get a piece of paper or a napkin and then fold it in quarter. Cut a hole in the corner in the shape of a rectangle. Then take that piece of napkin and wrap it around the lens, exposing the rectangular part of the napkin in the center of the lens. Now when you adjust it real good, the napkin should be covering all four sides of your photo. Next, use some sort of a mesh. This is simply a mesh from a screen door and shoot through it. Now this is not going to work on your DSLR camera because your DSLR camera is just going to blur out the mesh. So this method is very effective on your phone. Next, use a phone or an iPad to create a mirrored look right in your image. A lot of people like to use a phone. I like to use an iPad for that extra surface you can work with. Place the iPad right under your lens and adjust the angle so that you get the right mirror effect you're looking for. And you'll be surprised how artistic the image comes out to be. Next, use sunglasses to create an artistic look. Place sunglasses right on your lens and you can use sunglasses to provide shade to your entire photo or you can use sunglasses in a vertical position to provide shade just in the middle of the photo for that artistic look. You can also use sunglasses on the side of the lens to provide shade on the side of the photo, preferably the side where the light is coming from. And the results are just fabulous. Next, go out at night and follow those neon lights. Neon lights create a really cool lighting effect while shooting photos at night. Have your subject stand right close to the neon lights and you can see how the neon lights create different colors of lights right on your subject. Now this is photographer's heaven. You can play around with this situation or just different kind of camera settings to create that perfect shot. You can also use the lights in the background to blur out that background to create those beautiful light orbs. And the results are just superb. I had a blast shooting these photos. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And if you really liked the video, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in another video.